Hello friends, my name is Graz and today we're going to talk about farming reagents in Terraria 1.2.4.1. Now there's been some slight changes to farming since the game started, so I'm going to go over basically all the reagents and get any confusion out of the way. First off, I'm going to talk about the water leaf because that underwent some changes. Now in order to get water leaf, you can actually grow it in sand and you can put it in a flower pot of course, but it will not bloom unless it rains before you actually had to submerge it in water for it to bloom, but that was recently changed, so now you actually have to wait for it to rain in order to actually farm it for the seeds, which is the most optimal way of doing it. Of course, fire leaf over here is still the same. You have to submerge it in lava in order for it to bloom and actually get the seeds along with the fire leaf, so nothing has changed since the beginning of that. Death weed, that only blooms during a blood moon, so, of course, that really hasn't changed that much. Of course, it does go in crimson now, so you'll see more of that. You can either put it in crimson, corruption, or in a flower pot, but again, it won't bloom until a blood moon comes up. So, you're going to be waiting maybe a while for that. And, of course, we have day bloom over here, which isn't doing anything right now because it's night, and that just doesn't happen. So, of course, the most optimal time to farm it would be during the day. You'll get day bloom, and you'll get the day bloom scenes to go with it to get it to, well, to repopulate. There we go. And, of course, we have blink root next. Now, blink root is something that grows underground. It has a very awkward timing for blooming. It doesn't have a set time. It can bloom whenever. And as you can see right now, it has little tiny yellow buds on there. And this one just went out. Now it, it's still available. We can farm it, but it won't give the seeds. So when it grows up, you can see it. And when it blooms, well, it blooms, you can see it. When it dies off, you can't. And of course, moon glow, you can only farm it when the moon's out. You'll see a nice little blue glow right here. And of course, you get it at night with the seeds. Most optimal time of way of doing it. And of course, a solar eclipse kicks in. And we'll go ahead and talk about Shiverthorn next. Shiverthorn was a recently added reagent that grows in the snow biome, basically. Now, it grows in snow, or you could take it home and actually put it into a pot and grow it from there. But here's the deal. It's going to take a while for it to actually grow. Now, it may seem easier to just go ahead and put it in a snow biome, but you've got to be very careful because you could easily knock it off and just dis disrupt it. But in its fully bloomed state, you can see that's got a a very spiky little appeal to it. We just go over there and snag it, and we'll get the seeds, which of course is the most optimal way of doing it, is when you get the seeds. And you can actually get it when it's in a lesser state, but of course, you're not getting the seeds, which really just kind of sucks. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you found this video informative, please be sure to give it a rating, a thumbs up. I, I highly appreciate it. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, leave them down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. If you have any questions, I would like to answer those for you to the best of my ability. And as soon as we have patch 1.3 for Terraria to come out, we'll see more videos in the Terraria series, whether it be a walkthrough, a playthrough, any more helpful videos and such. So thank you so much for checking this video out and subscribing for those who have. Have yourselves a wonderful day, and if not, then just simply fake it. This has been Graz, and I will see you again next time.